Hello and welcome to part two of our online dubstep remix tutorial. In this session we're going to be looking at how to make a dubstep beat and there are a few essential ingredients that we need to make sure we get in there. The first of which is a bass drum sound on beat one of each bar and a snare drum sound on beat three of each bar. We can put more than just these in there but if we stick to this as our general framework then we're going to create a sort of half time feel which is the characteristic of dubstep and uh, then we can decorate it with more if we, if we choose afterwards. We do however also need a shuffle rhythm on the hi-hat and when we've got that we're going to mess around with some effects and make it sound cool. So here we go. So here we are again in GarageBand and as you can see, we've already imported the track Crystal Clear by Young Guns into the GarageBand session. And in the last video, we also set the tempo of the session to 88 beats per minute, which we established was the same speed as the Young Guns track. This is going to allow us to get our drum beat that we're about to create lining up perfectly with the song we're remixing. So, as you can see, we've got a piano already available to us. We're going to double click on that to change that to a drum kit. I think the techno kit is the closest uh, sort of timbre to the dubstep sound that we're after that GarageBand has to offer. Clicking on the instrument symbol again will get rid of that menu. Now, as we're working, we don't want to be listening to the Young Guns track. Um, we'll come back to that later and make sure it all sounds cool together, but for the time being, that could be a bit off-putting. Now, the next thing that we want to do is to get our sounds into GarageBand. I would normally use a MIDI keyboard hooked up to the computer directly with a USB cable. Um, I actually do have that set up here to my right. Uh, but because that's out of view of the camera, I'm going to go over here to the window menu and select the keyboard, which will appear on screen. You could do it this way too, but I'm literally doing this just so that you can see exactly uh, what I'm doing. Now, uh, let's have a little experiment with some of the sounds before we go any further. Lots of fun sounds there, but the ones that we want to start off with are the bass, which will go on beat one of every bar, the snare, which will go on beat three of every bar, and in a moment we'll also be playing the hi-hat, uh, which will go throughout with a shuffle rhythm. So let's hit the record button, which is this red one at the bottom of the screen. The clicking sounds you can hear is the metronome. This is here to help us, don't ignore it. But don't be rushed by it either. We're just going to count along and start when we're ready. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Putting the bass drum on beat one and the snare drum on beat three. I'm also going to play in some hi hats. And that should do us nicely. Now we can get rid of the keyboard. Send the scroll bar back to the beginning of the track pull these sounds back to the beginning as well. I'm going to open up the edit window by clicking on these scissors and you can see the sounds we have recorded are appearing here as little blocks. As you can see some of these are quite out of time. Let's have a little look at this one here. It should line up with the first beat of beat 2 as it's a bass drum sound but as you can see it's quite early, it's, it's well before the, the line at which beat 2 starts. So I'm just going to click on it and drag it into place. And as you can see it pops directly into time thanks to the snap to grid feature that we turned on earlier. This is a snare drum sound, it should be uh, lined up with this beat which is beat 3 but it's a little bit early so we're going to click on that and drag it into time. I'm going to spend a moment now popping these all uh, where they should be and I'll come back to you when I'm done. Okay, now I've finished that, I'm going to highlight these hi-hat notes and pull those back to the start as well. Make sure they're on the right sound. You can move them up or down when they're highlighted and then put them back where they belong. I'm going to arrange these into a shuffle rhythm now and again, to save you watching me messing around, 
I'll come back to you when I finished. Okay, so I've created a shuffle rhythm that I'm happy with. Let's have a little listen. Okay, um, I'm going to highlight that now and press Command C. Make sure that the scroll bar is at the start of bar two and then Command V to paste. And I'm gonna do that for each of the four bars that I've recorded and trim the now empty bar five down so that it doesn't exist anymore. Now we can hear the whole beat on its own. And now again with the track. Okay, it's not quite finished yet, but it's on its way. I've just spent a moment adding a few more bass and snare sounds to the dubstep beat I created earlier, and I'm gonna play that to you now along with Crystal Clear by Young Guns. Okay, shaping up. Let's click on the mute button so we don't hear the track again for a moment. And we're also going to get rid of the edit window. We're going to double click on the instrument to call up our menu on the right and if we click on edit we're going to be able to add some effects now. Um, the first thing that I'm going to add is something called a bit crusher. What this does is it reduces the quality of the sound. It might sound bizarre but wait until you hear it. Um, let's not go with the default, that means the automatic first sound option that they give you. Click on that and we can try some of their presets we can also um, have an experiment perhaps with um, making our own um, bit crusher. So let's start with the presets and let's listen to them each in turn. That's got to be my favourite, so I'm going to stick with this one. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is add a bit of delay, uh, if I can find that in here. Delay is basically an echo, and here it is, track echo. Again, um, let's try some of the presets um, and see if we can find one we like. And now let's see how that works with the original track. I'm quite pleased with that so far. We could keep going all day. There are loads more things you can do. Now it's your turn to experiment and have some fun. 